Catches over 100 yards and a touchdown for Toomer last week. First and goal from the four. This pass is caught. Touchdown, Joe Jurovision. So the big strike to Toomer and then Perry Collins hitting Joe Jurovicious from four yards out and the Giants. Well, you got, you got Joe Juravicious, who's 6'5", working against Juan Hawthorne, who's 5'10", and what they have is a fade stop. You watch him here. They look like they're going to throw the fade. Kerry throws it on his outside shoulder, his back shoulder, and that's a very difficult pass to defend. And Morton Anderson for the extra point, and the kick is good. So with 3.22 to go in the first half, the Giants show some life for the first time today. Jurovicious from Collins, and it's 17 to seven, Cowboys. Amber getting his chance, it'll be second down and eight from the 35. Sterner looking to throw and getting away from Strahan, but he can't get away from the ball. And down he goes at the 25 and the second giant sack of the game. A big loss of 10. Well, they open the floodgates there. You got Michael Strahan working off of Solomon Page. He's the one who first gets the pressure on Sterner, disrupts his tempo, and then you've got them all coming in. Cornelius Griffith and Ross Kalaje. Strahan gets back into the mix, and that's what Kerry likes to do over the ball. Get it to him quick, easy passes, and let him make yards with the football. Two tight ends for the Giants. Again, play action, and Collins is going for one. of Kerry Collins and Joe Jurovicious clicked for the second time today. That for 34 yards and the Giants edge closer. Well, Dallas tips their hat when they bring Darren Woodson with a linebacker. Here comes Darren after that. Good protection by Greg Camella and Tiki Barber. And by the pressure, what it does is it puts Joe Jurovicious on dad win and dad just cannot run with him. And he runs right by him and gets no safety help by George Teagues. A mismatch and they capitalize and get the touchdown. And Morton Anderson for the extra point, and the kick is good. So with 5.45 remaining in the third quarter, the Giants trailing by 10 now. And Perry Collins, a perfect four for four on that drive. Reggie Swinton on wide receivers, four in all for the Cowboys. On third down and six. Sterner going for Ismail in the end zone, and the pass is intercepted. Jason Seahorn, who was burned last week by the Washington Redskins in a critical touchdown, coming back to make the second Giant interception in the end zone here in the third quarter, and the Giants get it back. Seahorn rounding Ismail, and it remains a 24-14 game. So another big third down situation, and the Cowboys have made it happen most of the day, especially with it's more than third and short. They've done well. Sterner being chased down by Holmes, and it's intercepted by Dehani Jones. And Dehani Jones gets it back to midfield. So Sterner throwing three second-half interceptions, giving the Giants continued life. Well, and you talk about... You know, if you talk about the interceptions, and, it, and if they do nothing more than punt the ball or kick field goals, then this game is not as close as what it is right now. But Clint Sterner has made some bad decisions here down the stretch. Dehani Jones right there on good coverage does a nice job of intercepting, but a, but a bad decision on Clint Sterner's part. And if you don't have it there, particularly at this point in the ball game, you got to throw that one yard attempt by Morton Anderson. Kick is good. So Morton Anderson in his 300th career game with a 40-yard field goal, bringing the Giants to within seven. Instead, Mike Adore will be kicking from the 10-yard line, and Tiki Barber is back deep for the Giants. <laughs> Tabidi Davis blocked the 
kick. And the Giants will get it inside the Cowboy 15. The old double thumb. Well, you, you hate to hear this sound if you're on the punt team. Tabidi Davis coming from the punting team's left side. That's textbook. You beat your guy, you lay out right at the block point. So the Giants, after Tabidi Davis blocks this is the game kicks. right now. Second and five. It's a play fake. And Collins looking into the quarterback to sense momentum and what would be a good call at a given time Troy you've been there before I know well, that's why Sean Payton's calling the plays you got Kerry Collins coming off of play action you take a look and he's rolling out he finds I Hilliard on the back of the end zone a nice job by Hilliard finding a hole on the back and Kerry Collins being able to get the ball to him and uh, Morton Anderson looking to tie the score and the kick is good so Tabidi Davis with a clutch block of the punt and Kerry Collins with his third touchdown pass to Ike Hilliard and the Cowboys and Giants are all tied. Inside the tight end by two yards to Solomon knows he's really going to have to get on the ball. For Solomon right here again. Second and 15 near midfield. Ryan Leaf is going to be sacked back in his own territory by Frank Ferrara who replaced Ross Kalaji at defensive tackle, who is playing in place of the injured Keith Hamilton, and Ferrara makes the big play. Well, here's Kalaji right here. He's going to be working up against Larry Allen, and he puts a little spin move and gets inside and is able to bring him down for a sack, and that's something that Ryan Leaf is not a, not a real mobile guy. Excuse me, that was Ferrara that made the, made the sack, but Ryan Leaf is not a real mobile Cowboys first down, Giant 47. Pressure put on Leaf, and he doesn't have a chance. Mike Barrow had a huge loss of more than nine, eight yards on the play. Well, and this is what we talked about during the game. Moose has said why they're not bringing more pressure. You got Seahorn coming here, you got Barrow coming up the middle, and nobody's there to stop them. They brought too many guys, more than they can block. Ryan looked like he put it in his left hand there like he was going to try, try to throw the ball with as much. Go into the season where a game could come down to a field goal in regulation or overtime to win the football game uh, with the uncertainty that he felt right there. And he went out and got Morton Anderson. And this is going to be Morton's first opportunity uh, to, to show that uh, that decision by Jim Fossil uh, credits them with their first win of the season. 42 yard attempt coming up. Jason Garrett will hold. Giants united on their sideline. This is to win the game for the Giants. And Morton Anderson is going to the game with a 42-yard field goal. And the Giants stage a tremendous comeback against the Dallas Cowboys, twice coming back from 17-point deficits and defeating the Dallas Cowboys 27-24 to with 7.48 remaining in overtime. This is just a devastating loss for the Dallas Cowboys to have control of this football game the whole way. But credit the New York Giants for hanging in there when things were going wrong in the first half. And that one just sneaks in the left upright. But uh, we talked about him at halftime. This is going to we're going to find out a lot about this New York Giants offense or the football team. And Troy, uh, what, what did you think of the well, performance? Well, we found out that they got a lot of fight in them and they're not going to quit, which you wouldn't expect from a team that made up of the champions that they were a year ago. I don't know that ultimately we've found out how good a football team they are this year. I don't know what we were able to learn from either the Dallas Cowboys or the New York Giants today. Uh, the Giants win it, go to four and four on the year, and the Cowboys drop to two and five on the season. The Giants win it overtime. We'll be back here at Giants Stadium in just a moment.